We have the distinct honor of welcoming a Lincoln Hall alumni that has gone on and achieved all of her dreams, achieved her goals, and embodied what Lincoln Hall should be and is all about. Hard work, respect, and perseverance. With that said, I would like to show an introductory video to help introduce our guest of honor. Can I get the lights on both sides, please? This number one pick. This is number two. Guys. This is my friend. I know her. I do know her. Guess what, though? I'm a block her shot. Drive by Zoe B. The number one overall pick going at number two, Zoe B. Jewel Boy beats everybody back. Catches and lays it up the reverse. What an athletic play by Jewel Lloyd. Kicks it to Lloyd on the alley oop and she knocks it home. Hi, I'm Jewel Lloyd. I was the first pick in the 2015 WNBA draft. The Seattle Storm. Select Jewel Lloyd from the University of Notre Dame. Hearing my name called, number one, was was very surreal. Um, yeah, I was really happy and glad to share that with my family who was there. I wouldn't want to share with anyone else. I still don't think it's actually hit me yet um, completely that I was number one and I was pretty much one of the youngest people in the draft and it was just very uh, humbling by far. Living in the West Coast is, is nice. You know, it's kind of like a baby, baby Chicago in a sense. Um, you know, we're living right downtown. Um, people here are very nice and friendly. Yeah, there's a really good um, Mexican spot. I love Mexican food. Uh, that's like probably my favorite food ever. So there's a nice restaurant down there. You go into the training camp, I really just wanted to learn as much as I could. And um, I was very fortunate to have a great coach and great vets who made sure that I understood exactly what I need to do for the team and for myself. Julie, you're, it's as if it's coming from here. Um, right here, Julie. Any, okay. You know, for any young player, coming into the WNBA is not easy. It's a, a major adjustment from what they're used to. I think early on, she was just kind of feeling things out. But now you're seeing that she's really picking and choosing her moments, and I think she's reading it much, much better. A good cut by Lloyd, finds the open spot and scores. Playing with Sue and, and calling her a friend is something that so many people wish they could do, and I can't take that for granted, because she's like the Google of people. You know, she helps with every question that I need, and uh, she knows everything. I pretty much hang out with Sue and Alicia Clark all the time um, and pick their brains because I know they're the best in the game right now and, and they know so much. I told everybody in the beginning, I was like, look, I love to cook. I cook pretty much every day, so if you want something to eat, just call me, text me, hey, see, I'm coming by. And Jules, the only one who's taking me up on that every day, pretty much. She's the best cook on the team, by far. She always has meals, um, always cooks. Her mom told me I have to take care of her, so I was like, okay, I can do that. <laughs> Do that. Everyone here really helped me to make sure I felt right at home and right away, and so it's been fun. I like it here, and um, you know, it's like my new home. Showtime. Your Lincoln Hall is so excited to welcome back a student from the graduating class of 2008 and WNBA star for the Seattle Storm, Jewel Lloyd. your skills at some places you may know, Drake Park, Crozel Park, and more. But most importantly, on this very court and playing against all of our little nine conference schools that you play against today. At Niles West, Jewel started on varsity throughout all four years and averaged, get this, 24.8 points and 11.9 rebounds per game. That is worth it. Jewel scored 3,077 career points at Niles West, and Jewel went on to play college ball at Notre Dame, where she was named Women's College Basketball Player of the Year. Proud clap! <laughs> Jewel currently plays for the WNBA Seattle Storm and, over and overseas in Spain in the Liga Femenina de Baloncesto. <laughs> Jewel has played overseas in Turkey, China, Spain, and several other countries across the globe. She was drafted first overall in 2015 as the youngest player in the draft. This same year, she also achieved Rookie of the Year Award in 2018. Proud clap! The Seattle Storm won the eight, the Seattle Storm won the WNBA Championship title. Proud clap!
And finally, Jewel was voted into the WNBA All-Star Game in 2018. Prop clap! Jewel, we are so happy to have you here. And if you would like to say something, Thank you. Um, first of all, I just want to say thank you uh, to the school district. It's pretty awesome to come back to where it started. Um, this is the gym where I stayed late after practice to get shots up and um, really felt the love from playing basketball and for basketball. And I, I really want to thank um, Mr. Reeson. A lot of you guys may, may not know him, but he started playing um, every morning on Fridays and Wednesdays. We used to have early morning basketballs, and every Wednesday was for the girls to come play in the mornings. And every Friday was for the boys. And we said, oh, you should come play with the boys. You know, you're pretty good. He's like, ah, I don't know. And he said, no, I really think it would be good for you to grow and develop. And um, he pretty much mentored me and, and allowed me to express myself on the court. And, his leadership on the sport. I mean, we were pretty much undefeated when we played here in the and sixth and seventh grade. We barely lost. I don't know the, the, the records and all that stuff, but um, he really mentored me and helped me grow. And obviously, the school, I take a lot of pride in saying I'm from Lincolnwood and I, I went to Lincoln Hall. Uh, people are like, oh, yeah, you went to school game. You went to no, no, no. I'm from Lincolnwood. <laughs> I went to Lincoln Hall. And I make sure everyone knows that. And um, this community means a lot to me. Um, everyone in this community helped raise me. and. I, I'm sure my family would say that too, but um, this place means a lot to me. So thank you so much for allowing me to come back here and uh, kind of just give back to you guys and, and help you guys just kind of be inspired because I was definitely inspired coming here. So um, thank you so much. And thank you all. These girls have created a, a special basketball for Joel. Be careful taking that curtain off. Hold on, hold on. Make sure. All right, go ahead. And can you, can you tell us what, what is painted on this wall? Okay, so on this half, it's all like four teams she's played for. There's like the Jaguars, the Wolf, the Fighting Irish, and the Seattle Storm. And then on the other side, it's the same teams, just some of your records from all of the teams. Even though it's like a tiny bit, there's like a lot more. Couldn't fit everything, so it's, that's like the best we can do. All right, and also the district would like to award you with the distinguished alumni plaque. And, and what I will get you to do. All right, thank you one more time for Drew Roy. Thank you so much. Now, after seeing those highlights, unfortunately, students. I would like you to know we're going to be changing the game to a basketball game, and she's on our team. <laughs> All right? No, I'm just <laughs> We are still playing volleyball. I think she's going to help us run a little bit. She's also got some things to pass out to you students. And like she said, all you should feel immense pride being from Lincolnwood and being from Lincoln Hall. And let's get the show on the road. All right, let's rock. <laughs> all right, fossils, all right, fossils. You're suspended. Play City basketball at Niles West. All the games. All the games. Did you play? All the years, that's four. That's it for Jermaine. That's it for Jermaine. Jermaine, high five you on the way in. Oh, God. 